All right, what's up, boys? We're back with World at War Zombies. And, uh, you know, today, we are going to be playing Barakt. And this is not the side I want, so we're going to restart. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. All right, what's up, boys? Today, I'm on Barakt. And, you know, normally I have a challenge involved. Normally some kind of condition some special thing I want to do to make the video more entertaining. But, you know, we're playing Verrucked. And really, that's enough of a challenge in my book. <laughs> so. We are just gonna just... Yeah. Boys, the knifing in World of War, War might be a little jank in terms of mechanics and actually making it happen. But the sound design is raw. Let me tell you. Guy, that was an epic scene. So we are going to be copying the MP40. Oh my goodness. You know... Boys, you know... On occasion, you know, we shoot... We, you know, we shoot the Black Ops 1 MP40, right? We, we, we shoot the Origins MP40 a lot, right? But the the OG World at War MP40, it has been a minute since I have given this thing a ride. Let's see this. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You no, know, boys, the older zombies games are just satisfying in the most simple ways. Just the just shooting the zombies with a gun. It just feels so good, you know? That's one thing I love about World at War is it just, you know, reminds me that the essence of this game is just, you know, shooting zombies. And that's really what it is at the end of the day. All right, boys, we got the power on. That's big moves. So, you know, I think we might just sit back, chill, and, uh, you know, grab the, uh, grab some jug and then start hitting the box. Boys, I don't think I've ever noticed the, um, carnival music that plays on this map, but that is creepy. That's... oh my goodness. They say that Verruckt is the scariest map, right? It has, like, one of the scariest atmospheres. And... Boys, I'm a musician. Carnival music is terrifying. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's just, like, the thing is... Using, like... Using, like, music that's supposed to sound happy like that in, like, creepy situations... Because, you know, carnival music is obviously associated with clowns. And clowns are scary now, you know? We are far beyond the point as a society where people think clowns are funny or entertaining. But it's like... I'm, all I'm saying is like... Carnival music is just terrifying. I don't know. Like it can be in the right context. Alright, and just like that we got our... Juggernog. You know, for those, for those of you who don't actually know... You know, normally Quick Revive gives you another life. But in World at War, it just it just doesn't. It just literally doesn't work in solo. So, you know, if we go down on Verrucked, we're just done. We're just done for. There's just no getting back up. So that certainly adds quite a bit of tension to this whole experience. The fact that, you know, no second chances. We're just... We're just chilling. Boys, I'm not gonna lie, that power room is hard to look at. <laughs> Why'd they do that? Oh my gosh, I got the Springfield. You're joking. <laughs> I, I paid 950 just to get this thing. Oh boys, we got the MG42. Oh my gosh. That's quite the step up from, uh, from the Springfield. You love to see a nice World at War LMG. But Oh my goodness, it's just... It is just raw. It really is. I mean, would you look at that? 
Boys, I always love getting the MG42 or the Browning from the box in World at War, because they're just so good. Like, just look at that. Boys, we're going to be copping some speed cola in a minute here. Oh. Just listen to that jingle, bro. Up your life. Bro. Speed cola, high key, might have the best jingle. Like, I'm not even joking. You know, while we're on for Ruck, I may as well talk about it a little bit. But, like, really, if you think about it, like, obviously this map, you know, Noct being the first map of all time, introduced the box and zombies at large, you know. But, like, I feel like people don't... I mean, obviously, whenever people talk about Ruck, they talk about how it introduced perks, but, like, just, like how much that changed everything is just insane. You know what I mean? Like, the amount of depth that is here on Verruckt compared to Nock just because of the perks is insane. And it's like, just the design of the four original perks. Like, obviously, Quick Revive didn't really reach its full potential until um, Black Ops 1, as far as solo zombies goes. But, like... Oh my gosh. Speed Cola does speed up my life. <laughs> but it's like... The first four perks are just so iconic. And the reason why is because they're awesome, you know what I mean? Like, the design of the machines is memorable, their effects are good. Then, like, the jingles. Oh my gosh. Obviously, as a musician, I get hyped about the jingles, but it's just like... The first- the original four perks, man, like, I get- I get hyped all over again just seeing them on Verrept. <laughs> we got Molotovs. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I want to use it on some zombies. Boys, I love me some World at War, but the explosive effects in this game are downright goofy. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Boys, I'm trying to get a PPSH. Obviously, you know, we won't be able to pack a punch it. Oh, <laughs> flamethrower. I kind of want to keep it, but like, not really. But like, oh my god. Wow. I really just died. Man. <laughs> Games in World at War really have an average runtime of like 10 minutes. You know what, boys? We're not going to let that happen. <laughs> we are not going to let round 9 at World at War be the end of me. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I gave up on my scoped car 98k challenge and ended that at round 9. Both attempts. And then I just died on round 9 again. It's like the witching hour. Or something. It's ridiculous. Alright, boys and... <sighs> oh, I thought I was gonna sneeze. Verruckt is a whacked out map, bro. Like, if, like, when you're playing it, you're mostly just worried about, like, not dying all the time. But, like... <laughs> my boy jumped. But it's like... This map... I know I said it a few minutes ago, but, like, really has the environment going for it. Alright, boys, first box hit. Let's see what we get. Flamethrower. That's funny. I died to this thing last game. Ooh, that's hot. Boys, that's hot. The thing about the flamethrower is it's kind of more of, a, like, an end game, you know, training... It, like round 50 million kind of weapon but I have it so that's fun look at that absolute destruction bro boys the flamethrower kind of eats on <laughs> on round seven Yo, why are people screaming bro I'm not a big fan I gotta be honest I just you know just, just being honest. Not not enjoying the agonized screaming on Verruck. The only problem with training with the flamethrower is that it is completely garbage. Terrible at, like, getting zombies out of your way quickly. Because, you know, you have to... It really only works when you have a big train of them that you're shooting the fire at. 
you know, it's not going to be something like, I don't know, a, a shotgun or even something like a PPSH that you can kind of use to shoot ahead of time. It just has zero potential for that, really, but... Oh, boys! We got the ray gun! That's hot. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty hot. I don't know why I'm spinning the box anymore, to be honest. I think... Honestly, I think this is pretty much as good of a loaded as we're going to get. Grab double tap real quick. And honestly, that's kind of just... <laughs> this is the end game, boys. But here's the thing, boys. <laughs> it's round nine. It's time that things go wrong. But, you know, on Verruckt, whenever I play this map, I usually either kind of try to camp in this room or train around this room because this is a pretty nice open space. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, obviously, like, the ultra high round strategy is to use the um, electric trap upstairs and kind of stay in that area. I'm not that good. But I'm kind of thinking that, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's better to stay in this room or, like, kind of train around the entire map. Because I usually just keep this door closed. I don't open it, you know. So, you know, we're just, we're not going to plan on opening that door because I kind of like not having it open. But we're just going to, you know, see what happens. Just honestly, like, this is a pretty open space, but zombies are coming from everywhere, and it's not very safe. We conquered round nine. <laughs> we did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is actually fun. Believe it or not, I'm having fun playing a video game. What a novel concept. Boys, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna grab Quick Revive. You know, I still love, I still love the jingle, even if it's not going to do anything for me. You know, we do have a pretty pleasant little perk layout. Got the, uh, cover wheel vibe right now. And flamethrower, then sick he'll never hurt anyone for sure, so. The thing is, boys, like, I've been doing an okay job in this room so far, but it just doesn't feel safe. I just feel like I'm on edge. But, you know, I guess that's kind of a rock. A rock is really hard. There aren't really any solid spots to hang out. This room is just so hard because, like, you have, a, you have like, three barriers-ish. And then all zombies that come through that door. It's like, you know, good training spots usually have, like, just, just a normal flow. Where you aren't going to be overrun. But on this, I just don't know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Eventually, I'll just... Oh... Oh my goodness. That was crazy. I feel like I didn't even get hit four times. I was just red screen all of a sudden. Boys, that could have been it. But we're still clinging on. Boys, we're already making crawlers. That feels bad. I need to try to chill out a little bit with a ray gun and just use more of my training fundamentals to not die. Because this thing sure has limited ammo. Oh my goodness. Get me out of here. Oh, that sucks. I got stuck. That's the thing about World War Zombies. They just... Or World of War Zombies. They just suck you in. They just like... They just... <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh. That was really hard. I feel like... You know... I mean, making it to round 12 isn't too terrible. But like... Yeah, man. Verructi is just tricky. Like, even though, like, like I had the ray gun, right? And that obviously helped me out. But, like, you just don't, like, even in that spot training, like, maybe, obviously, I would just need to practice more on the map. But it's just, you know, it just feels tight. Just feels, you know, that's that's kind of a unique feeling on Verruckt is that, you know, you never really feel comfortable. And I think there's something really cool about that. But anyways, boys, that's going to be it. If I get two likes on this video, I will make it to round 15 on Verruckt. I will do it. Alright, bye.